Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. And today we're looking at the LG G Flex 2. And this is my quick review. So last time I held and used this phone, I was taking a helicopter flip with LG. And if you missed that um, video, check it out. I'll put a link around about here. So click on that. But um, since then, I've had a pleasure of being able to take this unit on two overseas trips to two different conferences. And I must tell you, I've gone quite attached to this phone. So let me tell you why that is. So first of all, let's start off with the display itself. So obviously it is a curved phone, as you can clearly see. Everybody seems to love that curve. Every time I pull it out, people ask me what that phone is. Um, it's a 5.5 inch display, but because of the curved nature, it actually doesn't feel like a big I um, mean, you know, a phablet um, phone, which you, which you know, people don't really like. It's a little bit too big. Um, the curve does give it a nice natural feel, and it was quite a pleasure using that, especially when you're kind of holding it and making those phone calls. Um, the only downside that I have with this curve is that when you put it down on a desk or a flat surface, and you're trying to type, you get this a bit of a rocky motion, and unfortunately, it does and to spin around you know, quite, a, quite a bit. So that is my only kind of negative with this, with, with this phone really. The, the screen is really, really nice, um, very, very comfortable to hold, really fits nice in your hands. The buttons at the back obviously make it a pleasure on um, you know, volume up, volume down, etc. But it, you know, it kind of really firms nicely in your hands and it's a nice phone to kind of carry around, around with you. Um, really really cool the only thing as I say is just when you put it on a flat surface so it's obviously got all the security that LG has with the um, you know you can unlock the phone by, by knocking a specific sequence of um, no, of knocks onto the device itself um, obviously I need to remember to change that now and um, you know very very smooth nice and nice and fast all my apps are here Absolutely nothing I found during my travels that I was missing and I kind of wish the phone did any any, any better or any, any worse. Um, again, having the display does allow you to, um, the curved display, this kind of just feels a bit natural when you're trying to scroll through your various, various apps that you have previously opened on your phone. So again, um, the display, I keep on going about, on about the display. Specifically, you're holding it kind of in this mode, and you want to play some of your games, or you want to watch some some videos. It actually works out really, really quite cool. One of the games I like to obviously play when you know just killing some times on those long plane rides is Subway Surfers, and the reason it is is you know one of my benchmark applications because it is quite intensive, um, and if any delay or any lag on the phone, you'll be able to instantly see it. Um, when, when, when you're kind of playing these games and doing all these moves. Um, with this particular phone, clearly there was none. Um, you know, the processor just works nice and fast. Absolutely no reason kind of not to, uh, not to play even more intensive games. Um, specifically kind of first person shooters or, um, you know, those natures, you know, th those kind of games really translate very well on a device that um, is actually got a curved screen. So if you think about it, our TVs are getting curved, our monitors are getting curved, well, why not have a curved mobile mobile phone to, to, to mimic those? Um, so that was kind of a little bit about the screen itself. You can see, um, I mean, nice and bright, even direct sunlight, really, really no issue. Um, all the applications, as I said, are here. Um, it is Android, it is Lollipop, it's the latest version. So you'll have kind of, um, you know, the, the, the new interface, which if you haven't used before, it takes a little bit of getting used to where things happen to be. Um, but once you do that, well, then absolutely no, no issue whatsoever. Um, I do like the way the interface does kind of give you, you know, those, those cards which tell you about kind of what's going on um, and specifically things like your health, um, it does monitor all of those things for you, like steps, um, like kilometers walked, etc. So today, 7.7 .7 kilometers at the expo. Um, everything is nice and cool, and it really, really is there. 
Um, oh, the one thing I need to mention is the, you've got the little, this coating which kind of self heals. So if you do any minor scratches, um, it will actually just repair itself within 10 minutes. Um, I haven't really do kind of really gouged it with a knife or a key or anything. I mean, I don't want to abuse the phone, but I've had it for a couple of weeks now. Uh, it's been in suitcases, it's been in pockets, it's been in bags. And I must say, it actually looks pretty darn good. So obviously this coating thing, whatever magic that is, that seems to be working really, really, really well. Um, another cool feature that I actually quite enjoy is the fact that it's got an infrared blaster in here. So a universal remote control. Um, really, really useful if you're trying to get some work done and there's a TV blaring above your head, um, happens to be in one of the hotel bars. Um, very quietly, you just hit the remote and then kind of channel, jump through the channel, either make it softer or in my case, I, by mistake, of course, switched it off. So I quite a dig the whole fact that it's got an infrared remote that's, that's built in. The other thing to mention is the camera. Um, I use a lot of social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Um, the camera is really, really cool here, especially when you're trying to kind of capture, um, you know, objects which are moving, <laughs> which are moving quite fast. So the you know, the laser blaster that it's got here, kind of the tracks motions, really seems to do quite a, quite, quite a, quite a nice job. Um, and even in kind of direct sunlight or even in rubbish weather, you do get quite a good quality of an image. It doesn't matter kind of what you're trying to, what you're trying to take. Um, yeah, so it, uh, it, uh, all overall, this is really, really cool. I traveled with this two different countries now. Um, you know, the detail is great, really nothing that's lacking on this particular uh, you know, particular phone at all. Um, a nice thing is that once, it, even from locked mode, you can just kind of just drag that across and straight away you're in, you're in your camera mode. So you don't actually miss those, any of those shots. So that's the camera. It also shoots 4K video. Image stability really, really helps. Um, it's got all the modes that you can that you can want to play with, um, all the settings, panorama, etc. Um, and again, you can kind of go and mess with those as best as possible. I find leaving it on auto really gives you some good kind of some good good results, and being able to change your focus really helps as well. Um, the final thing I want to mention is a good old copy and paste. Um, believe it or not, I actually quite quite like the fact that this has a clip tray. So if I want to say this is a test, um, I can hold that down, select, and go um, copy. But now it puts it into the clip tray. So I can do and a, another one, and effectively I can that and it also puts it into the clip tray so when I want to paste I can open up the clip tray and it's got multiple copy and paste that I, that I can do from previous times so this is another one and I can just add, uh, add that in so it's nice to be able to do copy and paste like that especially when you can copy multiple items sometimes you want to email someone multiple links or you are busy working in a word or a, one of those Google Docs and you want to make some lots of edits you can actually do that as well um, so that's quite a cool little feature. Um, I must say, overall, this phone is really, really cool. I'm going to have a, a, a hard time giving it back. I'm going to miss it. Um, I really got attached to it. Um, the fact is that when you're out and about, this does give you a good day's worth of battery. Obviously, if you're using more things like music, um, video, lots of gamings, um, it does eat the battery faster faster than before. It does have the fast charge facility so you can actually charge it quite quickly um, and I use that a lot in between meetings, in between exhibitions, um, in and out of hotel rooms so that really does not make a big difference to your daily kind of grind. Um, just the thing to note is that the um, headphone jack is at the bottom um, I went looking for it all over the place and then it's at the bottom. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but um, you know, I'm left-handed so I tend to use my phone this way and this was just a little bit kind of in the way. But again, as with everything, you just get used to it and get on with things. Um, so yeah, so that's this is my quick overall review of the um, new phone. Um, LG is really doing things right. Um, I'm quite impressed with their quality, um, their design. 
and I think we're going to see bigger and better things out of LG. So you've got to kind of watch the space and see how they make more headway into the mobile space. So I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that button. It's going to be round about there. Um, these other videos you can kind of catch up on other tech news. But overall, that's my review. So thanks for watching. Thank you.